Hello, this is Crypto Neptune, and I'm back once again talking about Drip and Animal Farm. Remember, nothing on this channel is financial advice. So let's go ahead and dive into the topic at hand, Spritz Finance, because that was a hot bu button topic on Ray Bartertown's live stream today. So let's talk through it. So Ray mentioned on there far as with Spritz Finance, you know, kind of knowing your value and knowing your worth. So let's kind of dive into kind of what he's talking about. So as you can see here, the Drip Network has put $2.2 billion in trading volume through their platform, which is a phenomenal number over the last couple of years. So let's, again, look further into the Drip Network's value. With the Drip Network, there are currently 145,000 plus wallets. Now, at, when, and we're pretty much aware, we can get to into the little nitty -ditty, nitty gritty details of things, but for the most part, we know some people have multiple wallets, but that's kind of besides the point. The point is we have 145K wallets that are constantly interacting with the drip network so 2.2 billion in trading volume 145,000 or so wallets give or take it could be more hang with me and then going over here to youtube we have roughly 9.8 k video so a lot of people are pumping out videos for the drip network and there's approximately 522 channels. So that's a lot of channels. And again, it goes to show you the value of the Drip Network and how big the community, how big of a community community we have. So to raise point, you know, did we kind of shoot ourselves in the foot with this Spritz Drip Community initiative? For example, should we have negotiated potentially more money? Now, I'm not the one that's heading up this project. However, you know, looking at some of these numbers, did we get the short end of the stick because of the brand awareness or that the, the, the brand value of the Drip Network? Did we get the short end of the stick with some of these numbers? And or could we have negotiated better, a better deal? Now, that could be, be potentially it. You know, we as a community, we probably could have pushed back and say, hey, you know, we're not going to do participate in any type of initiatives whatsoever unless you, you know, increase these rewards some type of way or make it more beneficial for drip. You know, so it says total transaction volume. So this is 2.5 million in transaction volumes here to receive roughly you know, maybe close to $8,500 and potential buybacks that will go back to the tax vault. So I don't know, you know, you be the judge of it. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but you kind of be the judge of how you feel about Spritz Finance and kind of go from there. Now, if you have been using Spritz Finance and it, it has served you far as a good solution or as maybe like an off ramp or far as you paying your bills, then that's your call. You know, if you want to continue to use the product, by all means, continue to do so. And I'm like I mentioned before on my previous videos, I recently just signed up. I have not, for the most part, I have not, you know, paid any bills yet with it. But again, this could be a temporary solution if you are working towards that, you know, you need to pay your bills or some sort of off ramp. But the point of what Ray was basically trying to make is that understand your value before kind of getting into some of these deals. So and I and I and I get that as well. And he also mentioned that Forex pretty much for the most part wanted something to where we are kind of using the products that are, are available. So since this is this is currently not available, the Fiat on ramp. And he meant, and Ray mentioned that, 
but when this when this comes available some sort of fiat on off ramp and we do have that feature i believe on the animal farm and let's see if we can go over there real quick you know according to forex he would rather you know some of those funds go through our own ecosystem so way, that way that money is going back to you know the animal farm ecosystem into the animal farm and pigs holding and pigs owners that money is kind of funneled back through our system to help build up our ecosystem and the same thing is going to happen here once this gets up and running like some of these funds will be going back to the community so it, it, just something to kind of think about i guess as we move forward forward and i can start understand both aspects of it far as you know this initiative serving as a current need for the community but also sending money back to the tax vault which is fine but also again the value and then and the 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 brand awareness of the drip network again do we shoot ourselves in the foot not negotiating better numbers and you know quite honestly i think we probably did we probably could have like bumped some of these numbers up and said hey no like we don't want to do any of this this deal with spritz whatsoever if we can't get these numbers to look better if we're bringing on this much sheer volume of users day in and day out you need to give us better terms so i just wanted to kind of put that out to the there to the community real quick and kind of share both sides of the stories you know as far as what ray is saying which he made a great point as far as drip is a pretty big deal and we need to be when we come into some of these deals we need to be negotiating and not just taking the first thing that we see we need to be going back to the table and saying no we want x amount of dollars or we want x amount of money sent to the tax vault so i get it but for a right now for a on for a off-ramp solution spritz from what i've been hearing from community members it has worked for them you know far as you know again paying bills and you know sending money to their bank account so i just wanted to kind of talk about that and kind of bring that up so now let's move over to Okay, so let's move back over to Twitter. Let's go back to my page. So now that we got the spritz out the way, I kind of wanted to talk about a few things that's kind of going on, else is going on in the community. And so yesterday, last night, I did a buy for some drip. So it looks like I got roughly over 1,110 or kind of, this is kind of the minimum that I would have received, but, the reason why I did that is because I was kind of anticipating what could potentially happen this week. You know, I could be completely wrong, but I said, let me scoop up some more cheap drip while we have it. It's 26 cents. You know, to me, anything under a dollar is 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 a pretty good discount. You know, I'm not going to worry about whether it's 25 cents or 26 cents. I mean, it's a low enough number to where I said, OK, I can get I can help increase my position by buying a nice bag of drip so i did that and because of that now i'm really really close to almost eight thousand so right now i'm at seventeen thousand eight hundred and sixty seven in deposits so proud of that and one last thing so this is what the the and shouts out to Drip the Wizard who retweeted this here. So he basically, so it basically states here, we know what you have all been waiting and we greatly appreciate your patience. We promise you DDD will be worth the wait. So DDD flat out is going to be a game changer. So tomorrow, it looks like at 4 p.m. Eastern, we will be hosting a VC in the Drip chat to provide you with an update on everything. So... Could this be an AMA basically starting the countdown for drip drop draw? You know, not going to speculate. I don't know. It, it could be a situation where he just comes on and gives a brief update about where they are with the product. 
or it could be something where it says, hey, we're going to launch, you know, Thursday. And again, I've said all along since March that I thought that DDD would launch sometime in June. So I hope that they make my statement to be true. But, you know, if it falls off a couple of days from that and goes into July, then so be it. So that's pretty much the gist of it that I had today. I wanted to kind of tie up some loose ends with Spritz Finance, kind of give Ray Bartertown's perspective, but also kind of give the perspective of the community, how they're kind of feeling about Spritz Finance, and then kind of talk about, again, DCAing into into drip when you can at these low prices. I went ahead on and took care of that to yesterday, bought a nice bag of drip and just kind of stuffed it in my faucet. And then lastly, we discussed here again, we discussed there's going to be a VC tomorrow, kind of talking about drip, drop, draw, and it's going to be well worth the wait. So those are your community updates, kind of straight to the point. So I want to thank everybody for listening, everybody that has subscribed to the channel. I truly appreciate everything you guys are doing uh, for me. Thanks for listening and thank you for stopping by.